Hello, you're watching Hexus TV. We're here at MISCO Expo 2010, and I'm talking to Stephen Hoare, who's the Security Director at Kensington. Hi, Steve. Hi, Scott. So, Kensington makes physical locks for laptops. Now, forgive me, but it's not obvious to me what the point of these things is. Obviously, I don't want to get my laptop yeah. nicked, but it's never occurred to me to go to the shops and look for one of these, so sell it to me. Yeah, well, certainly. I first of all want to correct you, we invented physical security locks. Okay. So the little hole that's on a laptop, it's, yeah. it's known as the Kensington slot. That's what we invented Fair back enough. in the late 80s. Yeah. And then the T-bar lock came along with it. So there's obviously been some demand if you're still going 20 years later. Absolutely. Well, you know, laptops years, are more mobile today than they ever were. You know, more and more corporate organisations issue laptops to their employees. Yeah. And they get stolen. Okay. You know, it's in the news. They get stolen. So. And yeah. is, this just, is this just sort of drunk people leaving them on night buses or are they actually getting stolen from workplaces? They're getting stolen, stolen from workplaces. I mean, a recent IDC report uh, said that 9 out of 10 organisations had experienced laptop theft and 58% of that was in office, in office right, environment. Okay. So, it's very so is, that where, is that where a lot of your, uh, your sort of solutions come into play? Absolutely. I mean, the lap laptops are used in the office, they use mobile, so the laptop lock is a flexible product that's used in the office and on the go. Okay. Hotel rooms, conference rooms, working from home. I suppose, yeah, that stands to reason. So even if you're in the field, if you've always got one of these things with you and you're in a hotel room or something, you can find something to secure it to. We'll get into this specific product mm. in a sec. Yeah. Because I was thinking, one of the reasons, I was wondering what the point of these things are, is if you're out and about, if you are this drunk person on a night bus or whatever, there's only so much even companies like yours can do to sort of protect us from just sort of mm. being silly. But you're talking about all the places where reasonable yeah. Um, precautions can be taken to prevent theft and, and there are sort of companies increasingly have sort of policies in place um, to, that are quite specific about these things don't they? Absolutely I mean lots of organizations have security policies that talk about encryption, firewall protection and may not cover physical security but it's down to the employees to take some responsibility and if a company issues them with a lock then it's for the employees responsibility to use that lock so they're going to reduce the risk of the products being stolen in the first place. Yep. And but the problem today is employees don't use the locks. No. Presumably even the public sector after countless headlines. Absolutely. I mean the press, the press, you know, with with various organizations losing locks, high locks, high profile, and even the Information Commissioner's Office introducing fines up to five hundred thousand pounds for, for breach of the Data Protection Act yep. and loss of data. So it's serious it's, stuff. It's very serious and stuff. And that's why you come in. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So I believe you've actually brought a product in here. Is this quite a new one? It's very new, yes. The Kensington ClickSafe was launched on the 11th of October. Okay, globally. so it's nine days ago. Absolutely. Okay, do you want to sort of tell us what's special about it? Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, one thing, obviously, we have our user manual, and we first of all, we say register the lock. Okay. Register your key code on our secure registration site, so in the event you lose your key, you can get a free replacement. Fair enough, that makes so, sense. So that could be a bit frustrating if you can't remove your laptop. Uh, can't absolutely. defeat the object of uh, it. Absolutely. You do yeah. get two keys, by the way, so yeah. you know, keep one with you and one in a safe place. So the product's called ClickSafe. And, and as I mentioned, you know, we, have a, we have a Kensington slot into 99% of laptops. That's right, yeah. Um, but the problem is not everyone knows where it is. Yeah, and, or what it's for. And what it's for. So we try to make it simple. Okay. And what you do, you have this Kensington security anchor, which you uh, fix into the Kensington slot. Just once. Just once. Yeah. And as you Just can see, it, you know, it sticks out about the same size, same distance as a nano receiver. Right. Okay. So it doesn't it's catch. Not it's, not, yeah. it's not big. But it's a visual deterrent, a visual reminder. Sorry, that you've got to do something with it. People know there's yeah. something there. I hear you. Uh, and the lockhead to take a five-step process. We convert. This is what it used to be, is it? A five. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I used to. I explained. You used to get the lock, get the key, put the key in. Turn the T, line the T okay. bar up, find the slot, and lock it. A lot of it. people just thought, uh, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered with it. Yeah. So, so to make it easier, it's, it's a one-step process. You just Simple click it on, okay. and that's why we call it click safe. Click it, uh, and you're safe. Oh. I see. Yeah, that all yeah. makes sense. And uh, and you th and you think this is going to be sort of quite a big deal in terms of the the likelihood of people using a sort of physical security product. Uh, absolutely, uh, and the main reason. Uh, from, a, from an IDC survey, you know, in the UK especially, uh, of the people interviewed, 50% of them issued locks to yeah. their staff. Of that, 40% actually used them. Right. Um, and, and the remainder, 48%, said they didn't use them because they found them too fiddly and they, they forgot to use them. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're an IT manager, you want to They're invest go, in well, locks. Can you, know, you get your head around this? Yeah, you know, why? So we wanted to sort of remove any excuse, any barrier to employees complying to the security policies of organizations and, and keeping the, the hardware safe. 
Okay, that, that makes good sense. So, so generally, just to just to sort of sum up, your your market selling into is is sort of B two B, or or is there a sort of consumer? Um, there is a con there is a consumer do? element, but it's typically large enterprise, you know, B two B, yeah, um, public sector who who invest in, in these products. And they and they will have a corporate security policy. Here you are, uh, Scott Pacino sales manager, we're going to give you this laptop, but you better take care of it, and we're going to make you sign this thing that says that you'll pay us a million quid if you lose it, and to help you not lose it, we have all these things. Uh, yeah. and, and, as, and the reason that they are more likely to buy this product than any product that precedes it, is they think that their employees are more likely to use it. Is that a long and short Absolutely. of it? Absolutely. It's all about compliance. It's easy to use. Yes, it has a, it has a disk style mechanism, so it's virtually impossible to, to pick has a, a better grade of cable, but it's all about compliance. Make it easier for people to use, uh, and we, you know, we sort of log on in the morning, lock on, and it's very simple. It's a one-click. Brilliant. And you're safe. Okay, thanks a lot, Stephen. Thanks, Scott. So I was talking to Stephen Hoare, Security Director for Kensington. You've been watching Hexus TV.